what are indices? So indices are just a small number that goes in the top right of another number. So this is your indice or your index. Power is another name for it. And this number here becomes the base. And what does it actually mean? So it means we're taking that base number and we're multiplying it by itself this many times. So you can see, we've got three times three, there's two threes because its index or power was a two. And three times three is obviously equal to nine. One of the most common mistakes is three to the power of two equals three times two equals six. We just proved that is not the case. That's a big no-no. So you don't want to be stuck doing that mistake there. Three to the power of two means three times three, and that's equal to nine. So you're just gonna remember one to help you not make that mistake. I'm trying to remember three to the power of two equals nine. So that means that, let's have a look. Three to the power of three, we're taking that base number, which is three, and multiplying it by itself three times this time. In this case, three times three is nine, and then nine times three is 27. Three to the power of four, we're taking that base number, multiplying it by itself, however many times the power is. So this one's three times three times three times three. We already know three times three times three is 27. 27 times three is 81. So here, we can call that being an index form because it has an indice. And over here, we have expanded form. And we can even mix indices with algebra. So x to the power of three, well, we just take our base and multiply it by itself three times because our power is three. Even if we have xy to the power of three, that's just xy times xy times xy.